Okay, I went to the grocery store so I can start preparing for our cleanse that's coming up here in a few days. So I wanted to fill my fridge with foods that are clean approved, easy, and versatile. So I've got some broccolini and my greens. I've got several lettuces and some spinach. I like spinach because it's really versatile. You can use it raw or cooked, so um, that's great. And fresh herbs are a must. So I've got some basil and parsley, cilantro and dill. I have tarragon that I need to go pick from the farm um, and some thyme out there as well. Coconut cream. Uh, I definitely recommend the no guar because this is a gut health cleanse and guar can... Um, adversely affect your gut health. I bought some bamboo shoots because I know bamboo is really good for you and I like to make Asian style food and um, this is crunchy and just kind of different. Rice noodles so that I can eat this with curry and coconut milk and some type of animal protein. Avocados, like the really the quintessential brain food. I know that blueberries get all the hype and blueberries are good for you. But really, avocado is like unbelievably healthy, nutritious, and it's awesome for this cleanse because it gives you that really good high-quality fat that will help you feel satiated. So for a liquid meal like the soup portion, I will sometimes add some cubes of avocado just to help me with satiety over the long term. Uh, I love organic coconut flakes. I make coconut milk from this, and I also like it as a snack, again, for the same reason as avocado. You're getting some really good fats helps with satiety. Same thing with um, cacao butter. I use this when I am craving something sweet and I make chocolate out of this because I don't know how to temper chocolate appropriately. So this is my cheat uh, chocolate. Um, I add some cacao and coconut sugar to that and can put it over like pecans or um, some type of fruit as a drizzle when I'm craving something sweet, but I wanna keep it clean. Um, you know, carrots are a staple for me. Onion, leek is so, so good for you. And then I like this brand. I've never tried this actually. I use their, their Primal Kitchen um, mayo as a mayonnaise substitute when I'm in a pinch. But uh, this Primal Kitchen, just make sure you look and it. it doesn't contain egg. Brown rice vinegar. Uh, I love vinegar. I especially like brown rice vinegar because it has a sweetness without the sugar. And uh, organic tamari is going to be your wheat-free soy sauce. And then healthy oils, um, extra virgin olive oil, avocado, and coconut. So these are some of the staples that I like to keep on hand to keep things easy and to prevent a food emergency.